Well, here we are, early Saturday morning, the 15th, and we are finally going to go get the chicks that we ordered in February. So we're heading into Anchorage, and Nolan and Stacia came with me. Nolan's driving, and Stacia's got all the chicken box and food and water, and we're really prepared this time. Of course, we have a longer drive back, so... We want to keep our little chicks happy. Look at this beautiful drive. And this is why we need a dash cam. <laughs> you have to be in the car a lot. Like we had nine appointments. No. I, I can't remember how many appointments. I, I, it was either six or nine this last week. Um, the neurologist has more appointments scheduled for next week so Mike is going to have 11 appointments next week and if you have to be in the car all the time it's really nice to have things like this to look at yesterday as we were driving a moose jumped in front of us and I so wish we'd had a dash cam Alaska really really is just good for my soul it refreshes me to see so much beauty in nature all around us so we made it to Anchorage, and what do you have in your box? The chicks coming in. Six. Uh, the Six of the reds. Aww. Okay. They're, they've got it set up pretty well. Here. Go ahead, Nolan, and take them. Oh, the Easter. We have 15 chicks now. Now, Stacia, how are you feeling about all this? Good. <laughs> oh, no, these... I can't quite see, but... Whoa! Whoa! They're so cute! Oh, look at They're so cute! <laughs> they told us these were the reds. Oh, they're going to climb right out of the box, too. I think you'll be fine. We're gonna close this lid up here and that'll take care of the draft a little bit. Whoa. Well, it's time for us to start the trip back to Anchorage. How are you feeling about all these things? <laughs> are you gonna come up with 15 more names? Uh, how about one, two, three? Five. Okay, <laughs> Easter one, Easter two. <laughs> If I can, come up can you even tell them apart? A little. Well, you study them on the way home and you can uh, introduce them to all of us. Their personalities, I hope. So um, it's 10.15 and we're back from Anchorage. Kind of wondering what projects have gotten going around here. It is. Um, Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. It got up to 60 degrees for a few minutes yesterday. So a few more days like this and everything will be muddy instead of snowy. <laughs> but maybe we can start working out there a little bit more. So we'll see. We have a ton of projects. I just don't know which ones Mike was thinking of. Home and Alex and... Mike, are a little more interested than they wanted to let on this morning, right? Well, they're here. Oh, come on. You don't need to try to be grumpy. We know. The uh, sad thing is they had no po Polish top hats there. So we just got... Better 15. Yeah. But maybe Monday. Yeah, that's the, that's the red... Sex link, whatever it is. These are cool. That's, that I think is an Easter egg. The two are silkies. They're going to have poofy hair. Mm. Okay. Can you see that in the face? Can you see the poofy hair? It's a hi. So we got two little silkies. Yellow. You'll learn how to tell them apart. I think these are 
Hey guys, you need to get to know each other. <laughs> Golda. She's disappeared. Oh, Diablo is. They have to let them all get in under the brooder. You guys are going to have to let them in. <laughs> Check them all for pasty butt. Which one of you wants to do that? <laughs> I've been sure to do that. I showed Stacia how to do it this morning. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I want to do it. I will do a quick check, real quick. Hey, they should just want to be. Guys, I'm trying to check your bums. <laughs> no! Okay. This is Mrs. Proudfoot. Or some other hobbit name. Help us think of a female hobbit name. Because see, she has feathers on her feet. Mm. It's gotta be Rosie. Rosie? Yeah. I kind of liked Frodo, but that's a boy name. <laughs> Dad's not going for a boy name. He's not going for a boy name. Yeah, these look a little bigger than the three we got yesterday. They are bigger. Out more. Oh, they kicked her out! <laughs> oh, I don't think so. So look at the one in the back herself down back there and they're all jockeying under under the plate but she's just down <laughs> and Diablo is the tiniest of them all so I do think Mike's right I think the ones we got today are older but she just came running right out and protect everyone. Golda seems to think as long as she gets food, she's not going to be too worried about the others. <laughs> Let Yuki back in, and she is too curious. What we have here is the Yuki alarm, so if I'm not right in the kitchen working, or one of the kids aren't right here with Yuki, we can set this up, and I think if she gets in there, it's going to knock the cowbell off. Came to see the chicks. What are, you, are they puppies? They're not puppies. They're chicks. Ah! Oh! <laughs> the ones we got yesterday had no feathers. They were all downy. These today have feathers, so I don't believe they're just a couple days old. And they've already figured out how to get through the barricade. They flew over, so we're just going to pull that out. I know what they found over there, but they're sure fighting for whatever it is. Oh my. And Diablo there was always the small one, but boy, now she's just really, she's even smaller than the Bantam Silkies, so I, I just don't believe that they're two or three days old. Look at how they're popping around. I don't know what in the world. Whoa. Do you have a light? So have you thought of Silky names? Um, Silky 1 and 2? <laughs> Silky Way. Our problem is we have to be able to tell them apart. Oh, At this they, point, we're telling breeds apart. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, we and oh, wow. Oh, we and oh, wow. Whoa. Is that funny? Look at them jump all over the place. Meanwhile, who has the heart to pry Stacia away from the chicks? Someone needs to watch the canner. And little Diablo there has just really taken a shine to Stacia. I'm pretty sure they really love the tie-dye duct tape. I think that's what made them adjust so quickly to their home. Yeah. Okay, chicken peeps. Tell me what they're doing. They just dig and dig and dig till they get to the bottom and then they scratch on it. And I filled it up with lots of shavings and they've done it again. So is this just like they think they're in the yard and so they like to dig till they hit ground? Or is it gonna be bad for them with the plastic down there? And honestly, I wouldn't have expected two-day-old chicks to be this active and so out of the brooder. But they poop non-stop. Well, Stacia's having a lot of fun with these. She claps her hands now and they all come running. She's having a blast.
And little Diablo will come right out from under the brood or anytime she knows that Stacia's there. <laughs>